Come on. Come on. Army veteran Michael Trost has endured so many surgeries. I know you want this big apple. This retired master sergeant hmm. lost count around 28. But years now into his recovery, he faces another major operation. Yeah. So I'm not lo losing a leg. I'm gaining a thumb. <laughs> We're going to take that big toe and put it right here. And I went, oh my gosh, that was a round that went through there. The insurgent's bullet that ripped through Trost's notebook also tore into his leg. Another shot severed fingers on his right hand. Both flashes of a chaotic scene in Afghanistan, in Trost blue, first recounted up, almost four from years ago face. from a wheelchair at a military hospital outside Washington, D.C. And it is my first time I've been wounded, so... In how many years of service? 30. <laughs> this veteran of combat tours in Iraq and Afghanistan explained the shooter opened fire with no warning. A rogue Afghan officer, Trost, had helped train. We followed the now retired soldier's recovery and homecoming to East Tennessee, complete with a barn raising by volunteers. Months later, around birthday number 50, Trost regained his ability to run and reignited his lively spirit thanks to intense training and a high-tech leg brace. When you're told that you're not going to be able to barely walk and then to come back and run, you know, what can I say? It's pretty amazing. But two years later, after suffering repeated stress fractures and poor circulation in a foot that just isn't healing, this wounded warrior is now asking doctors to amputate just below his knee. You know, when I tell people, like, you know, I'm having the surgery, they're like, oh, I'm, I'm so sorry. You know, I'm like, but I'm not, <laughs> you know, because it's like dragging dead weight around. Surgery uh, is a couple of months guys. out, but in the short term, his focus we're, we're is an right unexpected right reunion yeah, uh, with a fellow soldier wounded during the same shooting overseas. We're both walking miracles. You know, I don't know how many people, you know, get shot with four or five machine gun rounds and live. This photo, taken just hours before the attack, shows Trost pictured with a special forces group from Albania. The international peacekeepers joined Trost on patrol. They saw their captain gunned down in that surprise shooting that left a young corporal wounded alongside Master Sergeant Trost. And as we both were collapsed on the ground, we were both kind of looking at each other horizontally. And the first thing he said to me was like, are you all right? Well, he got shot four times, you know, in both legs, um, in his face, that knocked out some teeth. In the last few months, they found each other on Facebook, reconnected, and Trost will soon welcome his Albanian friend on a visit to East Tennessee. It'll be powerful. It'll be very powerful, I think. In describing his journey during the last four years, this former soldier turned hobby farmer uses words like lucky, grateful, and thankful. So the glass is always uh, half full to me. A friendship rekindled and the loss of a limb. For Michael Trost, they are his next chapters in a life regularly born anew. I want to eventually write them, and so that's my goal. That's the long-term goal. Thank you.